Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Trizzy, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the bunker and the most effective way to make money off of it. So, the bunker is one of the most effective businesses you can buy if you ask me. It's passive income as long as you know how to get your supplies right. That being said, you also get Mark II weapons, so it's a win-win situation. When it comes to buying a bunker, as you can see, there's a bunch of locations put around Los Santos. That being said, I personally think the one that I own at the bottom left is the best one. Yes, I did own the one at the top of the map when it first came out. And trust me, you do not want to do that. You do not want to get your supplies and have to drive all the way up there and drive all the way back town when you want to sell to Los Santos. It's not worth it. You're better off just putting a little extra bucks in and getting the one I have right here. So, as you can see right here, you can do stuff like change the style of your bunker or add personal quarters. That being said, I don't own any of these things. I bought the bunker straight out just for what it was. I didn't buy the transportation because you don't really need it. If you just want the bunker to be passive income, trust me, you don't need these things. They're helpful, they're useful, but trust me, you can live without them. It's not necessary. That being said, when it comes to bunker missions and bunker supply missions, you have to be in a public solo lobby. You can do it public lobbies and you will get boosts, but it's really not worth it if you're just new to the game and people are going to kill you. There's two ways to do it. On PS4, you got to change your MTU settings and on Xbox, you have to check your NAD type. So if you're new to the game or recently just bought a bunker, this is what it looks like. To the right down there, to the white walls is where all your supplies are. And to the left over here is where your staff works on the equipment and the supplies that you bring them. That being said, you have to buy the upgrades for the bunker if you really want to make your money's worth. If you buy the upgrades, trust me, it's worth it. I'm about to show you guys some stats real soon, and those numbers really change up the game when it comes to the bunker's passive income. So, as you can see right there, I made 1.7 million off my bunker, and that's really just passive income. So, when it comes to managing staff, you want to put on manufacturing if you want to make the most money. You can put on research if you want the Mark II weapons faster. That being said, here are the upgrades. You can buy the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade. You can for sure buy the security upgrade. That is to countermeasures if you get raided. That being said, I never got raided, and I've been playing for a while. So, if you were to just buy the bunker and not upgrade anything, you'd be making $40,000 an hour in GTA when you're playing. With the equipment upgrade, you make $55,000. With the staff upgrade, you make $54,000. And then with both upgrades together, you're making $79,000 an hour passive income. You do not have to be in the bunker once you get your supplies. You can be doing anything. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go AFK and still make that money. So right here, you can see my supplies is super small. My stock is super small, but I do have stock kept up, which is worth 28K. So now we're about to go resupply my supplies so that I can begin the AFK. So when it comes to buying stock or resupplying stock, I personally choose to steal the stock. Yes, you can buy it for 75k and that'll fill up your bar, but personally, I'm a cheap guy. I'd rather steal it, put in the extra couple of minutes and not have to pay for those supplies just to make more profit off it at the end of the day. All right, so every time you start something with the bunker, Agent 14 is going to give you a call. And he's going to kind of tell you what you need to do, what you need to bring, or what you need to get. That being said, sometimes when it comes to missions, he gives you vehicles and he suggests, hey, maybe you want to take this. Personally, I own a buzzard, so it makes life much easier. If you own an oppressor, your life will be much easier than mine. A buzzard does take time. An oppressor will go much, much faster, and you'll be able to kill the guys much quicker. So every bunker mission is usually the same idea. You have to show up to said location. There's going to be bad guys there, and you got to shoot them, take their supplies. Sometimes the supplies are a crate. Sometimes the supplies are some sort of vehicle that you have to drive back to your home. Whatever it is, you gotta get in it, take it back to your bunker, and you're home safe. Once you deliver the supplies back to the bunker, Agent 14 is going to say nice work. And as you can see right there, my supplies bar has filled up and my value is still at 28k. So now, we're just going to keep rinsing and repeating. I'm going to go back to my computer and then steal more supplies and go complete these missions over and over again until my supply bar is filled up. All right, so boom, as you can see, our supply bar has gone up a little bit more and we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna max it out just like I said. Thank you. 
and we're going to do it one more time just to completely max it out so that we don't have to come back and add a little bit more supplies later. All right, so once you finish that delivery, as you can see, the supplies bar is maxed out. And now here's where the AFK glitch comes in. So you gotta go to an apartment where it has some sort of TV in it. It can be your business, whatever type of apartment you have, as long as there's a TV inside of it. And we're gonna go inside this apartment and we're gonna set up a mission. That being said, I cannot stress this enough. You do not have to do this AFK method to make money off your bunker in a passive way. You can go do a heist with your friends, do some races. Personally, I like to do the AFK method because I know, oh, I'm going to watch a movie and I don't want to turn my PS4 off. I'm just going to come back in two hours and I'm just going to make money off of it while I'm watching this movie at the same time. So, as you can see right there in my high-end apartment, I do have a TV, and we're going to start up a mission, Rockstar created jobs, and we're going to start up the first one, a Titan of a job. You want to make sure you start this job off solo, or if your friend also wants to AFK with you, he can join, as long as you both come into the apartment and sit on the TV. So, once you start the mission on solo, on easy, because we're going to have to complete the mission later, it's going to spawn you back in, right into your apartment, and that's where you're going to sit down in front of your TV and turn it back on. So right here you can see the mission starts and obviously the objective of the mission is to get a Titan but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go do something else for two hours in real life and we're just going to come here, go to the couch, sit in front of it, sit down and turn on the TV and just watch the TV. So once you do end up sitting down and turn the TV on, I cannot stress this enough to my guys on console, you have to plug in your controller so it's charging. If you don't plug it in, after around 15 minutes you're going to get a notification saying hey your controller turned off. You want the controller to stay on. If you plug it in on PS4, I know for a fact it does not kick you out. I've done the mistake and I've come back to it and said, oh my God, I didn't charge it. But as long as it's charging, it will not kick you out. And you can sit here for two hours. And the point of us sitting here is that those supplies are going to keep getting made. The stock values keep going to go up and we don't have to do anything. The TV is going to keep going in game. And after a while, it's going to go black once the episode ends. That's fine. The episode does not have to be on. As long as we're still sitting on this couch and we're still looking at the TV and it was originally on, we're good. We're going to be making money off that passive income. So... Once you come back after your time you spent away from your PS4 and you know you've been doing something else, you come back simply back out of the TV, you know like everything's fine, get up and we gotta do what the mission says itself. If you don't know what technical the job is, it's the idea you have to go to the hangars in LSIA, take out the Mayweather guys that are there, simply take the giant titan and fly it all the way to the north of the map, land it and you're good. Because it's uneasy, you're gonna end up making a simple 12k. You also can just throw two sticks on the ground and ruin your lives, and you'll just simply respawn and you just press continue. And that's where we're gonna go back to our bunker and we're gonna start selling our supplies. Boom, just like that, we've landed the Titan at the airport. And now it's going to say mission passed and we're going to make our money for this mission. Now, all that time we spent AFK, it's still valid. All our supplies are probably gone by now. And we can go there and we can start selling the stock, which I'm about to show you next. So, here we are back at the bunker. Two hours later after a nice movie. And boom, as you can see right there at the bottom right, all our supplies are gone. Stock's gone up to 168k. Note to self. 168k is if you sell to Blaine County. I'm about to sit down on this computer right now and you're going to see that when we sell to Los Santos, we make more money. Also keep in mind, I'm selling it in a public solo lobby so there's nobody else in the lobby with me so no one can grief me. That being said, if you do sell it in an online lobby, you make 1% bonus for each extra person that's in the lobby. So right here you see I'm selling it for 250k, but if there was 29 other dudes in the lobby that I didn't know that weren't in my crew, I'd make 29 extra percent on top of that. Keep in mind when we're selling our stock, if you go above the 175k to Blaine County, you may end up with a second vehicle when trying to sell your stock. 
what I mean is at the bottom you can see it's 0 out of 5. If it's above 175k, you could end up with the same Marshall truck, just two of them and 0 out of 10. So you're going to have to come back to this truck once you sell these five if you're doing solo and sell five more. It's not that hard if it's in a public solo session because you have more than enough time to go back and forth. But if you are in a public session and you do want that bonus and there are other guys in the session, they might find out, they might try griefing you. Another thing to keep in mind is when you are selling in public session where you're full of people to get the bonus, there might be guys that try to kill you, of course. So when you see that bottom left symbol beside the map, it means that people around the map have seen you and they see that you're trying to sell your product and they might try to come kill you, make like 6k off it for no reason. So what you can do to not lose all the work you did, you know, all the AFKing or whatever you did, you can easily ghost your organization. If you don't know how to, just hold the touchpad, go to your CEO ability, ghost organization. Yes, it does cost 12,000, but trust me, it's worth it, especially if you're making this type of money, it's worth taking a hit for 12,000 rather than some guy blowing up with an oppressor and just blowing everything up. Yeah, so you can see right here, I'm just delivering my stuff in the monster truck, going to my drop off points. Yes, in this monster truck one, there are some helicopters chasing after you. It's not really worth shooting them down. Make sure you have body armor and snacks. They will hit you, but it's okay. You'll probably live through them. Monster truck can go easily off terrain, so it's fine. You can climb up mountains because most of the drop off points for monster trucks are going to be on top of mountains, like you can see right here. So this is about it, you just gotta go to the flares and drop off the supplies. As you can see the ending cutscene, you see a helicopter pulling up and it takes the supplies away from you. That's it, you've got your money, you've got all your money's worth and it was so easy, all you did was AFK or play heist with your friends or do races and you made this extra passive 200k, 250k plus for legit doing nothing other than supplying it once. And then boom, as you can see right there, 250k bonus to your pocket. Alright guys, that's really about it, easy 250k passive income, you can do the AFK glitch or you can do whatever you want with your friends. I'm trying to help the guys that are hopping back on the game or guys that are new to the game because of quarantine. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying healthy. Thank you guys so much for letting me hit 100 subscribers. The support really means a lot to me. Keep the comments coming. Keep the likes coming, guys. Let's all get through this together. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Trizzy, and I'm out.